You, sailor boy, I'd clear out. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll seize about that. Oh, Popeye, Pluto, what a nice surprise. You can both babysit Sweetie while I go shopping. See you later, boy. Looks like your date gives you the gate. <laughs> well, I'm waiting till she gets back, Pipsqueak. Ahoy, sweet pea. It's your Uncle Popeye comes to read you a bedtime story. Oh, now, let's see. Which does I read you? Oh, here we go. The Real Mother Goose Book. He don't want to hear that sissy stuff. He'd rather hear some of my real-life adventures. Right, sweet pea? No, 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 no. Sweet pea am what he am, Bluto. And he wants fairy tales, not scary tales. <laughs> now, let's see. Oh, here's a nice one. Popeye be nimble, Popeye be quick. Popeye jumps over the candlestick. <laughs> oh, you like that one, huh, does ya? Here, let me read one of them. Pluto Porgy Puddin' and Pie. Kissed the girls and made them cry. When Popeye came down to play, Pluto Porgy runs away. <laughs> My turn, my turn. Here's one you like, sweet pea. Little boy Bluto, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. But where's the little boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. <laughs> One about Andy Olive, sweet pea. Little Olive Puffy sat on her tuffy, eating her coins and play. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. And frightened Olive Muffin away. <laughs> Here's one a little more like it. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The neighbor parts, he stole the tarts and took them clean away. <laughs> the king of hearts called for the tarts and caught the name red hanger. The king of hearts brought back the tarts and arrested the terrible man. <laughs> Here, my turn. Ah, uh, this one's more like it. Popeye Dumb and Bluto D resolved to have a battle. For Popeye Dumb said Bluto D had spoiled his nice new rattle. Just then flew by a monstrous crow as big as a tar barrel, which frightened both the heroes, so they quite forgot their quarrel. Hey, that's no fun. Just when Bluto D was winning. What? Olive, olive, white contraries, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells. And pretty maids all in a row. And poison ivy and Venus fly traps and deadly nightshade. <laughs> One more, and then to bed with you, sweet pea. Oh, no, you don't. This one, I come out the winner. 
Bluto Piper pick a pack of pickle peppers. A pack of pickle peppers, Bluto Piper pick. Help, 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 help me. Come back here. Wait, you can't do this. Wait, stop. Come back here. Wait. If Bluto Piper pick a pack of pickle peppers, where's a pack of pickle peppers, Bluto Piper pick? <laughs> On my piper picked a patch of pickle spinach. A patch of pickle spinach on my piper pick. If on my piper picked a patch of pickle spinach, where's the finny spinach on my piper pick? <laughs> some kicks, harassing them hicks. <laughs> hey, Barney Oldsfield, how about a little game of chicken? The first guy that moves out of the way loses. <laughs> Popeye, what kind of a game is chicken? I ain't sure, Zala. We'll just pass those wickets. <laughs>
tricky tactics. Well, now what? Well, I ain't turning back after we comes this far. I got a tremendous idea. Oh, Popeye, you're so clever. Oh, it ain't nothing, Alan. Just a polite gesture. <laughs> That pipsqueak. He's on, Alan. I seen him do this once in one of them double O agent movies. Whee! We made it! <laughs> well, that smart Alec ain't gonna get the better of me. Picnic spread that needs spread. <laughs> Popeye, look! Oh, that ruffian ruined our picnic! And now for some dessert. <laughs> He's coming back! He can dessert the whole area. Horro! Horro! <laughs> Seems to be going no place. Oh, Popeye, I'll need 
need your help to carry out my uncle's wish. So drop everything. Go home and pack. We're going to England. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Popeye. Here we are at the famous ups and downs steeplechase. Yeah, let's go to the stables and find Tea Biscuit. Uh, pardon me, Mr. Jockey. Can you tell me where I can find my horse, Tea Biscuit? Tea Biscuit? <laughs> you found that reject from a glue factory in that bad luck store, number 13. <laughs> there he is. Popeye, isn't he beautiful? Oh, he's gonna be a real winner. I wouldn't bet on it. Let's give him a trial run, and I'll clock his time. Get ready? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't belong in the steeplechase. He belongs in the Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> Get set? <laughs> well, that's one less cost fly to bother you. White ear. <laughs> this will have to loosen up more than his leg muscles. <laughs> Comes on, Team Biscuit. Both legs at the same time now. Coins on the steam now. It's on, Popeye. I'll be back soon to see what's cooking. Hmm, <laughs> the coast is clear. I'll just warm things up a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get some nice fresh towels for you. <gasps> Tea biscuit! Popeye, come quick! Tea biscuit's gone! Comes out, comes out, wherever you are. Oh my gosh! Gets me the fire hose quick, Olive. We has to re-moisturize him. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to bloody well cut him down to size. Points on the water, Alan. <laughs> you has had enough now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can toys the water off now, Alan. Uh-oh. My suit is shrinking. Ladies and gentlemen, the horses are about to enter the starting gates, and the race will soon begin.
a sailor man. Stays in ship shape conditioning by eating three well balanced meals a day. Fresh fruits and vegetables for vitamins and minerals. Whole grains in bread and cereals for growth and energy to build muscle and tissues. And to build strong arms and legs, eat fish, meat, milk, and eggs, says Popeye the Sailor Man.